Herpes. It's way creepier than you ever thought. I'm Anna Rothschild, and this is Gross Science. Herpes viruses are super common and quite diverse. If you've ever had cold sores, chicken pox, or mono, you've had a herpes virus. In fact, we know of eight different types of herpes viruses that infect humans. And if you've had one, that infection lasts a lifetime. That's because herpes viruses go into what's called a latent phase, which is like a state of hibernation where the virus hides in your cells. And what I find so interesting is just where these viruses are hiding. Believe it or not, the ones that cause cold sores, genital sores, and chicken pox actually hide in neurons around your body. And this can have some pretty weird implications. For example, if you had chicken pox as a kid, the virus might flare up later in life as the disease shingles. Shingles causes a painful rash, which appears in particular locations on your skin, depending on which nerve the virus was hiding in. A friend of mine once got shingles on his left butt cheek because the virus flared up in the nerve connected to that patch of skin. It was apparently very uncomfortable. Anyway, because herpes hides in your nervous system, it can sometimes make its way to your brain, though this only happens in about two in a million people. On these very rare occasions, the same virus that causes cold sores can sneak into your temporal lobes and cause a host of unpleasant effects, including death. But some people who survive are left with a very strange type of brain damage. They're totally normal, except they've lost the ability to recognize whole classes of things, like animals or colors or tools. One survivor could no longer identify whether a drawing depicted a real animal or a fictional hybrid beast. And while I wouldn't wish brain herpes on anyone, because of its specificity, this type of brain damage has actually revealed some secrets about how our brains store and categorize information. Anyway, scientists are learning more about these viruses all the time. In the past few years, they've begun to understand how to lure herpes out of the nervous system. And hopefully one day, we'll be able to stop all eight types of herpes in their tracks. Ew. By the way, my friend Vanessa has been looking into another famous case of brain damage leading to scientific discovery. Vanessa? Come over to Braincraft to hear the story of a man who had a one meter iron rod blasted through his skull. Think bits of brain and skull everywhere. He survived, but his personality didn't. Got a question about herpes? Let me know in the comments. And to learn more about brain trauma and neuroscience, check out Braincraft and Sam Keen's book, The Tale of the Dueling Neurosurgeons. Oh, and if you don't already, subscribe to Gross Science.